As the environment around you changes and you transition into a college student, you can either attribute success and failure to things you have control over or to forces outside of your control. Locus of control describes the degree to which individuals perceive that the outcomes result from their own behavior. An individual with an internal locus of control would believe that they are in control of their own life. On the other hand, those with an external locus of control feel that fate is out of their hands. So individuals with an internal locus of control would feel responsible for their own successes and failures. On the other hand, those with an external locus of control would say that forces outside of their control, such as luck, are determining the outcomes. Let's see how two students, one with an internal locus of control and one with an external locus of control, would handle getting a bad grade on a test. The test was completely unfair. All of multiple choice, I just wasn't getting lucky all day. I swear, sometimes, you know, you guess, but like, they just, none of them went my way. A few of those gimme points you normally get, and there's no way I could have known the short answer. Like, it wasn't in the book. He didn't give us any of the things on the worksheet. Like, it definitely wasn't my fault. Well, did you study? Yeah, I did study, but a lot of the stuff he said is from the PowerPoints, and I went to print that out, and the printer wasn't working, and then I got a phone call from my friend to come over and play 2K, and then I just went over the like the PowerPoint before class, figuring that was good enough. So, so this isn't your fault then? No, no way. I'm normally a good student, so there's no way I could have done this bad on a test. All right, well, Maggie, you didn't do too well on your test. What happened? Um, I definitely probably should have studied more. Uh, I know that my professor had office hours and I didn't take advantage of that. And I also know that our school has tutoring resources and I probably should have taken advantage of that and I will for the next test. So did you study? I did study but not as much as I should have because I know that if I would have studied more I would have done better on the test. Remember Travis and his external locus of control? He's on the LVC football team here and he's not getting as much playing time as he expected. Travis, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's pretty unfair, honestly. A lot of the guys feel they should also be playing. Coach only favors the older guys and kids from Maryland. It is so weird, but yeah, since I'm from Pennsylvania, even though I work harder than anyone on the team and I'm just the best, I don't get any playing time and it's not fair. So even when you work hard, just... I clearly deserve to start. It's just out of my control at this point. I don't even know what to do. I've had multiple conversations with my parents, but yeah, I don't know what to do anymore. All right, well, Maggie, as a freshman, you're not getting as much playing time on the soccer team as you expected. Can you talk a little bit about that? So I know that I probably should be working a lot harder in practice, but at the same time, there's people that are older than me on the on the team and I know that they deserve the playing time because they put in more hours, they have more experience and they've been here for longer. So it's not anyone, would you say it's any, anyone's to blame or? No, I don't think anybody's to blame. I just think that they've been here longer and they have more seniority over me and they probably have more collegiate level varsity experience. Um, so locus of control is a continuum. That's not to say that uh, internal is really bad or uh, external is really good. Um, sometimes it could be both. But sometimes as a college student, you're going to come across situations where using an internal locus of control will greatly benefit you. Here are some qualities that those with an internal locus of control tend to have. They're more likely to take responsibility for their actions. They tend to work hard to achieve the things they want. They feel confident in the face of challenges. They report being happier and more independent. They tend to be physically healthier, and they often achieve greater success in the workplace. Here are some tips for developing an internal locus of control. Recognize the basic fact that you always have a choice. Set goals for yourself and note how by working toward and achieving these goals, you are controlling what happens in your life. Develop your decision-making and problem-solving skills so you can feel more confident and in control of what happens. Pay attention to self-talk. When you hear yourself saying things like, there's nothing I can do, step back and remind yourself that you have some degree of control. Here are some key points to remember. 
Your locus of control says a lot about how you view the world and the course of your life. In many situations, believing you have the power to control your own destiny and determine your direction is an attitude that leads to success. People with an internal locus of control tend to persevere longer and work harder to achieve their goals.